Hi guys. I gotta put my apron on. Hold up. Ugh. Here we go. How's everybody? It's been a minute. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. You know how I do. Now you see me, now you don't. You know I gotta take care of the body here, so. Today was rough in the beginning, and I've been wanting a turkey so bad, right? And I'm not expecting nothing but a miracle. <laughs> now, so anyways, I've been wanting this turkey. I was telling my mother last night, I'm like, I want here a turkey real bad. So, got a turkey. So, I'm going to make a turkey. And then I had some greens in the freezer. I had some mac and cheese in the freezer. So, I went down to the store to get some cranberries so I can make some cranberry sauce. They're not in season, right? So I'm not going to do that, but I'm going to make a little stuffing. Just some, I just really want the turkey. So I just figured I'll pull the other stuff. Wait a minute, let me turn this down. So I figured I'd just make the, make everything else with it. It seems to be right. So I got the collard greens up, but we're going to make this turkey and some good old gravy, right? But see, there's one thing I do different with my turkey. I cook my turkey in a brown paper bag. So, my turkey is going to go right up in there. And when I tell you it's going to come out brown and cool, gel, you just wait. So, now and over here, you know how that go. Here go the stuff that's going to make it happen. And this is my good tea. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Mm-mm, mm 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 So, anyway... Let's get started over here, okay? I gotta pull this out. So, I'm gonna tell you everything I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna make a, a quick um, rub to go on this turkey, though, okay? So, and I normally don't measure, but I'm trying to be cute today, okay? So, just for you, just in case, I'm gonna measure some stuff. Because I don't measure, but there's some things I do know that needs to be measured out. So, for this dry rub, that stuff needs to be measured. Oh, let me get this salt. Wait a minute here. Okay. And for those of you that come in on this video later, if you come in whatsoever, you can find this on um, on YouTube also, okay? Um, I won't be putting too much on Google Plus because they're supposed to be taking it down. I'm not sure. But anyway, pay attention, all right? Okay, so we're going to put some salt in here first. I'm just going to take a few pinches, right? I don't have to do that. Okay, you see this bell seasoning? We're going one tablespoon, okay? Now, this here gives it that old good old southern taste right here. That make it taste oh so good. You know what? I can't measure. I'm sorry. I, I can't do this, okay? If you want to put stuff like this in, just use a tablespoon, okay? And if you need more, use it. I just can't do it. You see me? I tried. Okay, so I'm going to use some parsley. Now, you can season whatever you want. I just happen to like what I like, okay? And it works, and it'll work for you, too. I got a little jamming going on in the background today, y'all. I got to feel good. I got a smile on my face. The pain ain't happening right now. Knock on wood. Okay, so anyway, onion powder. Now, you know you got to season the turkey, right? So... You got to be generous, okay? You got to be generous. Because if not, your turkey ain't going to taste good. No, it ain't. Just saying. Now, you see this here? This is just like powdered bouillon cube, okay? I don't want this on my hands, so I'm just going to go in here. And I'm going to put some in there. I don't want to, because I might get clumsy and put too much and mess up here, right? Okay, so now we're going to do some garlic powder. If you notice, I'm using all powders because i got to put some salt in here. But I'm going to put a lot of garlic in there. We'll come back and hit it again with a little more, uh, what you call it, too, um, onion powder. Some black pepper, right? Put it there. Hey, Missy, baby! <laughs> My spirit, you know I'm just, you know I'm a little off the chart there. But I feel good today, so... I just wanted to, earlier today was pretty rough, but it's, it's kind of good, and I've been wanting this turkey, so I'm about to get it in. All right, so here's some paprika. You can use smoked if you want. This is smoked. 
But again, I be generous because you season the turkey. Right? Now, I have some Obey. Right? I get it open. This is a different container than I usually get. I'm going to use a spoon for that, okay? Right? And I have poultry seasoning. Now, you know you have all these herbs in here, right? What I'm getting ready to do now. Right? So I'm going to take some thyme. A little generous and some rosemary so you know when you're using your herbs right you need something to cut it wait a minute that's too loud still i'm about to turn it off no, no let me turn it down okay wait a minute there we go okay so if you're using that so now you want a little salt and a little sweet right so we're gonna put some sugar in here and I am going to put a teaspoon, a tablespoon of sugar in here, okay? Right? Got that? You got that? Do you have that? And I miss, oh yeah, here we go. So I'm going to put some seasoned salt on here, okay? Now this is just, this rub is for poultry. This is a poultry rub. Okay, so now I'm just going to take in... Whisk it on up together like so. And you can make your dry rubs, right? And you can put it in the container and they can stay, as long as that lid is on there tight, they stay a good while, okay? This is just real simple, ain't nothing to this. And if you taste this, it ain't gonna taste like nothing right now, okay? Trust me. So you don't wanna do that. But when they get on that turkey, and old turkey lurky get in that oven, and all these different flavors and these herbs get on turkey lurky, and turkey lurky start getting the grease coming out of it, bam, huh? That's when you're gonna see it. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. So we're gonna put that over there. Now let me introduce you to the turkey. Come on, turkey. Here she go. We're gonna call her Cindy today. We're gonna cook Cindy. We're going to cook Cindy. Now, we ain't going to cook Cindy. Who we going to cook? Who need a good cooking? Miss Priscilla. We're going to call this Miss Priscilla, my friend Miss P. This is Miss P today, and we're going to hook Miss P up, okay? Name it and claim it. So, I'm going to pat Miss P dry. I'm going to pat her dry. Miss P, a tough old bird. Yes, she is. I love you, Miss P, but I got to bake you. Okay, here we go. Right, so what I want to do first is put some oil on here. I want to do two things. I'm going to use some whipped butter, and I'm going to use some grapeseed oil, okay? So, let's do this. Put some butter on. Be generous with this, okay? Because this is where your flavor is going to come in. And this is where um, you're browning and everything. So be nice and generous. Go all the way to the tips of your turkey. Can you guys see this gut? Let me move it back. Yeah, I think maybe you can see the gut now. Rub it really good. Right? Turn this P over. Give a massage, massage her back real good, right? Look at that, don't hurt her none now. Just massage her really good. Turn it back, right? There, look at that there, right? Get all up in there, okay. And you want to put some grapeseed oil or any olive oil you have. Don't take much of that, okay? And you want to massage it really good. Because when you put your seasons on here, they got the stick. Massage the back again. Try to get as much of it off your hand as you can. See, I'm going up in there. And especially the tips. I like the tips. I love the wings. Okay. 
Okay, right? Now since we have her right here, let's just go right on ahead and put some of this dry rub on her, okay? Take your hands, be generous with your rub. Right? Pat it on in there, get up under there. Like you're putting deodorant up under your arm, put enough up under here, right? I have a strange way of describing stuff, but anyway, put it up under that arm, under that wing, get it real good, pat it on real good, then rub it a little bit. You wanna be generous. Look at that, see that? See how nice I'm doing that? Yeah, get it in real good. Okay, turn it over there. Hey, girl! You getting your stuff did up, girl? Look at she getting all did up. Look at that. Go ahead, Miss P. You getting all did up. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Now, you see, like, in here... Make sure you're getting there good, too. You got to treat her like a lady. Treat her like a lady. Yeah. See that? Look at that there. And every time I put someone in the drop off, I'm taking and putting it right back on there. Look at that. We want it to be colorful. When you know you season it good, it'll look nice and pretty. You know how to get old and the neck start dropping? Get that too. Gotta hook the neck up. You gotta hook the neck up. Look at that there, right? Now, a little handful in there. Whoop. And what's left, I'll always take it and I just put it right on up in there. And you can put some bay leaves up in there if you want. But I have this Himalaya salt that I like to use. So I'm gonna take and put some of that up in there. Want that cavity to taste good, y'all? Look at that. You see how nice that is? And take it and tell her to relax herself. Hand behind your head. Look at that there. Hey, introducing Miss Priscilla, turkey lady. I'm gonna take the rest of that. And put it right on on there. Look at that there. Ain't she pretty? I gotta wash my hands. I shall be back to get all this off. But when you're doing that, you gotta make sure rub that season in there really good because it's turkey and it's thick. It ain't like you seasoning the chicken. You ain't seasoning the chicken, you season a turkey. I'm, I don't waste nothing, look. Get up in there. Get on up in chair. Okay, right? So we did that, Move some stuff. Now we got the stuff, all right? Of course we do. Of course we do. What shall we stuff her with? Well, we gonna stuff her with an orange. Wash that orange off real good. But before we do that, we have some celery and onions. See, we want her to taste really good. That's a pretty bird. So we gonna put this all up there, right? There, right? Put it in there. And I have some peppers, some green peppers with them onions and celery. And now, huh? There you go. Move over. There you go. Up in there, up in there, uh-uh, up in there. You know what I want to do, though? I want to put a little more Old Bay. Y'all ever notice how Old Bay make your poultry taste? <laughs> what you say? That's what my mother-in-law always said. What you say? She done said it so much, I'm saying it. Go ahead, Miss P, with your bad self. Uh-huh. Okay. She ready to hit that brown paper bag. 
And it ain't because she ugly, it's because she's real pretty. Remember back in the day when we used to be mean? Oh, put a bag over her head because she was not that pretty, not that handsome. That ain't the case. That's when they was being mean in school. I did it too. I ain't gonna lie. I mess with people too. Mm-hmm. Oh, something else, y'all. Back in my day, let me tell you. I ain't gonna tell you. So, anyways, here's the part that's a little testy. You know what I mean? This is a little testy westy. So I'm gonna move some stuff out the way because we gotta put the turkey in the bag. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this out and then I'm gonna handle it real gently. See that? And we're gonna put her in the bag. Come on, you getting in there. Stop fighting. You getting in there. Get in there. Bam. You see this stuff? Let me rub it in here. Get all that season in there, right? And there we go. I'm turn this side. I'm going to bring it closer to you. Let me clean off this side so I can put it right here where you can see actually what I've done here. Now, if you want, if you're not sure, because most people think that bag gonna burn, but I've been doing this here for, I think since the 80s. I've been cooking my turkey in the brown paper bag. I can't remember, when, well, when I went to my son's, I did it different because we didn't have the bag. But I've been doing mine like this forever. Since the 80s. Oh, here we go. Say bye. Get Miss P in there. Huh? She getting ready to come out so pretty. Oh, she gonna be so brown and well roasted. Yes, she is. Ain't you, Miss P? You ready to go on your trip? She ready. Y'all ready? She ready. You ready? She said she ready. Let's package up real nice because we want everything to stay in there, right? So let's wrap her up right nice. There she goes. You ready for your trip? And the bag of home, ain't she? <laughs> I'm so corny. Oh, yeah, yeah. You can tell I feel good. I love it. So we want to put a little water, though, okay? But you know, when the turkey start cooking, all the oils come out. Well, you want to still put a little water. You don't put any slits or anything in here. When I tell y'all, this thing here is going to be so pretty. And it's going to taste so good. There we go. And you don't have to baste it. But you want to make sure your bag is tight. Okay. Now we're going to put turkey lurkey in the oven. And then, um, I've got some stuff ready for some stuffing, homemade stuffing, okay? So let me get the turkey in the oven. I have to take something out to put something in. I'll be right back. I have put some uh, macaroni and cheese in. Ooh, it smells so good. Now, I had this frozen. You know, when I do all that cooking, I tell you, my sister be like, what you gonna do with all that food? Here's a prime example of what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to cook it. I'm going to heat it up and put it back in there. Okay. And I'm going to let her in there since she's medium. I'm going to do two hours. And I'm going to take a look in there. And if it's what I want because it's not a big, big turkey. That's a small butter ball. So I'm gonna give it two hours, I'm gonna check it, and then I'm gonna give it the third hour, if needed. Sometimes you don't need it, because that bag cooks it real good, and it makes it juicy, because I'm gonna slice it for you. That juice is gonna be like, Psh. Yes, sorry, Bob. Just saying. So, I'm gonna straighten this up a little bit, and we are gonna move right on. I ain't gonna keep you long, but I've been wanting this turkey so long, and finally, Finally, it's happened to me. Yes, sir. 
So you know, I always tell you guys, clean up after yourselves, right? But make sure if you do this, now, oh yeah, wait, before I tell you that, another way you can do this is use mayonnaise, okay? If you use the mayonnaise, right, and it's, I mean, it's good, it makes it crunchy, though. When you use mayonnaise, it will make it a little crunchy, which is good, which is good. I like it. I don't love it. I like it. I like it. I, I don't love it, but I, I like it pretty good. Whatever, y'all, whatever. But anyway, if you use the mayonnaise, you just want to use the... Um, your oil, okay? You don't want to use the butter. That butter mayonnaise ain't gonna be too good, okay? But try the mayonnaise. If you use the mayonnaise, know your seasons because you're gonna need to really know how to season it well. I made a mess over here. Wait a minute, I'll be back, y'all. I gotta get my stuff that dripped off on the floor, so let me just clean this up. All right, there we go some of the seasoning. Alright, let me see. Hey, Nan! I've never heard of putting an orange in the turkey. That has me. Well, baby, you gotta try it. I use, I use an um, apple, an orange, a lemon. I use a lot of veggies. I, I do it different every time, but that orange, whoo, child. Let me tell you now. Yep. Yeah. Um, sometimes I use just the bell pepper and the onion in there. I just do different things, but I make sure that it's going to be good because if not, you don't experiment with it. You got to know what you're doing when you're mixing stuff because once your turkey don't taste good, ain't much you can do with it unless you just slice it, put it on the stove and make a gravy to bring some taste back in there, okay? Or make you some turkey salad. Still good, right? Okay, moving right along. So, I have the uh, the neck and the gizzards for the gravy. And um, are y'all too far back? No, you can see good. Okay, so this is like real simple, okay? Because you want to you're gonna season your um your water, okay? So don't over season this because you want to make that gravy popping. So just go light. Because you're going to season the pot itself. So I'm going to put that in here. That's the parsley. I'm going to hit it with just a little thyme and rosemary. I like to cook with my fresh herbs. I guess you guys know that. We're going to put a little bit of everything in here. But a little bit, okay? Pepper. I mean, that's our garlic powder. A little pepper. Oh, y'all hear the Delphonics? What y'all know about them Delphonics? What you know about it? That's my main ingredient, Pandora Radio Station. Oldie but goodies. Paprika. Remember, a little bit because you're going to make a gravy, okay? And here again, I really like using this. That is takes the place of a bouillon cube, and you can make your own chicken broth with this too. So that's what's going to happen here. Now this contains salt, so don't be generous with this. Okay, and of course you want to put some bell seasoning and some poultry seasoning on here. And I'm not going to put this on until later. Ooh, the Tempries, they getting down. While I'm away from you. Okay, I have some water. Let me bring you here. Can you see that? Okay. Let's get it going. Now I have a little water in here, right? Uh, and I'm going to put some chicken broth and it to dilute the bouillon cube I put in here, okay? The powder bouillon. Let me have to have, make some good old gravy, baby. Some good old gravy, baby. I'm not gonna use nothing else in there, but what I am gonna do, 
is I'm gonna take a little bit of this that I'm gonna take away from my um from my uh stuffing because this is more than I need, right? About that much, okay? And then we're gonna put it in here, okay? And we're gonna put a top on that. Let that do what it do, right? And then I think I'm gonna use this oil. I'm gonna saute the rest of the uh, peppers and the onions. And that's for the stuffing, okay? I'm gonna show you how to make some quick homemade stuffing. Now, this just came out the oven. This is the mac and cheese. Now, what had happened was, when my kids came that time, I made a huge pot and I sliced it in half and I put it in the freezer. So I had that heating up while we was preparing the, uh, the turkey, okay? So we're gonna put that there. Let me cover that up. And also, while nobody was looking, I had some greens in the freezer from before. Right? Huh? That's cabbage, kale, mustard, turnips, and collards with smoked turkey. Right? Got to make it easy for yourself, right? Okay, so back at the ranch over here. In here, I had some crackling cornbread. What is that? Crackling cornbread. What is that? I said crackling cornbread. Cornbread with crackling in it. I took the crackling out. But I left a few pieces in there. <laughs> right? I'm so silly. But it's going to taste good because I've done this before. Then I took in a... You know how you buy the, um, the box stuffing? They have a packet in there that has seeds and the herbs in it. Well, I took that and I put that in here to go with it. Right? And I'm just going to mix it up. Look at that. See? That's what that is. That's the a homemade cornbread in there. That that this and I had this in the freezer too because remember that time I told you when my kids was here and I had made all that mac and cheese and I had made all them greens and stuff and I had put it in the freezer. Well, I had put some cornbread in the freezer too, about eight slices, right? And then I had the crackling in there. I'll show you. You see that crackling in here? I took it out of there, but I left a few in there. That crackling good, let me tell you. Don't mind how good. Mm -hmm. So anyways, so I did that, right? Now, how you do this stuff, this is real easy. We're gonna first saute. Wait a minute, it's not ready yet, cause it's turning on. Okay, we're gonna let this pan get hot, and we're gonna saute the celery the onions and the um bell pepper now what makes the also what makes the homemade stuff and sweet bell peppers right if you saute them all they're still the same my mom always said leave some of the bell peppers out don't saute them all because that way you can taste the sweetness so we're doing just what she said i'm gonna get in trouble i do what my mother tell me to do mm -hmm. so anyway we'll take this egg I'm gonna beat this egg up a little bit. Right? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm gonna beat it up a little bit. No scrap, no pepper. Boy, this piece of crap is nice and good. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. Alright. Season it. Boom. That's your herbs. Boom, 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 boom. Right? Mm, them whispers, baby. That's the whispers. Poultry season. Feel the pain that you feel. Go, Pepper. So parsley. Okay, with some salt here. Right? 
right? And you have to put sugar in here. You have to. Because you want it to be um, a little savory, right? You can put as much as you want. But, like I said, you know me in that mantra and stuff. I'm getting in line. Okay. I'm going to put half in here. And this is little half. Can you see that? Yeah. All right? I'll slap you a little bit. And we're going to let that saute. And we're going to pour it in. Um, I'm just spatula. Oh, oh well. Wait a minute. And we're going to melt a little butter. So we'll let that saute. Meanwhile, we're gonna melt some butter here. You guys, ooh, I feel you feel the Okay, so I'm gonna stick this in the microwave and let it melt. And I'll be right back. Because we need it melted. For the mixture. Make it nice and smooth. Okay. So we're gonna put that in the microwave. Meanwhile, I'm gonna clean up a little of this mess here. I do not like a mess when I'm cooking. Because I'm clumsy. I get the spill and stuff. I ain't gonna mind. I'm real clumsy. I walk in the things that I see right in front of me and wanna walk right into it. Yep. I don't know what you call that for me, but it happens. Okay, I'm just going to give that a good stir. Put that egg, mix that up in there, and then the butter. Then we'll put the saute veggies in here. And that's about it. And it goes in the oven. Okay, let's see. But you know what I do like doing just a little bit? Look, it ain't gonna hurt nothing. Just a little bit. Get in there, cause you don't want it mushy, 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 mushy. Some people use half and half. I'm not. Mm. Oh my goodness. I was in junior high school when this song came out. Cutting class. <laughs> oh boy, these are raw memories here. I was cut. I cut class so much. My mother took me to school one time, y'all. She said, "This your homeroom?" I said, "Yeah, we go in here. That ain't my homeroom. I know I'm getting ready to get towed up, right?" So I said, "Oh, I think it's right there. We go in there. That ain't my homeroom." I said, "Oh, I know. I know, mom." She's just looking at me, right? I'm up. I, I can feel the heat coming off of her. I said, "I think that's my homeroom." She told the principal in front of everybody, "Can I take her home?" My mother took me home, and all I knew was the Star Sprinkle Banners, and she sent me back to school. Hmm? Did that straighten me out? No. Uh, you know how embarrassed that was? Everybody knew I, would, I had to go home and get a beating, and she made me go back to school. And the principal looked at me, and he started laughing at me. I said, all right, Mr. O'Neill, I'm going to hurt Mr. O'Neill, so I'm going to keep on cutting class. I cut my math class for a whole year and passed. I had to go to night school. Huh? I just could not. I was hanging out with people older than me. I'm telling you, teach your cheerings. Teach them girls. I, just, I didn't want to be around nobody that was my age. Because I knew more. You know, I was grown up in here. But when I did go back to school, I did my thing. I went to college. When I did go, when I learned, I took a psychology class in Essex County College. And I loved it so much. Turned my whole world around. Yeah, my mother used to drop me off at night, night college and pick me up. I still managed to sneak off and go to my friend's house, and I knew what time she was coming to pick me up at 9. I was right back there on that bus stop at 9 o'clock to get picked up. Huh? Yeah, that, that song just reminded me of that back then in them days. Yeah, I was something else. So I could cut up a class now. What? But I loved all my other courses. I never liked math. And this algebra teacher, she told me, her name was Miss Grant. 
She said, if you cut one class, she said, it's going to be hard to catch up. And the next day when I did decide to come to class, I was mad because she wouldn't, um, she wouldn't take time out with me to show me what I missed yesterday. So I said something smart to her. She said, you old snotty. That's what she called me. She, I'll never forget Miss Grant. Yeah. But she wound up helping me an awful lot, I tell you. School days, baby, school days. Yeah. That's a little bit about me y'all didn't know, huh? I was good for cutting the class now. What? Okay. So, these are the sauteed veggies. And we're going to put those in there. Ma, I hope you on here watching. <laughs> Boy. She said, where your homeroom at, Cindy? Cindy, where you on your homeroom? <laughs> Yeah, you didn't play with that. Eh? That's mama. Okay, so now you just mix that up like so. Now, if you feel you need a little more moisture in here, when well, it smells so good. Oh my God, it smells so good. I'm gonna show you, can you see this good? You see how it's turning? The consistency of it's turning? Yeah. Yes, sir. I went to Rutgers Law School. I did uh, family law online at Everest University. Uh-huh. I, I straightened up and did good. I sure did. Yes, sir. All right. And this is, I'm going to put a little bit of this in here. And this is stuffing, ladies and gentlemen. And when these giblets get done, I'm going to chop them up in there. Put those in there. And they're going to be ready to go. Well, I can't do much more with that until my giblets and giblets and liblets and all that good stuff is done. But you want to taste your, um, you want to taste this, okay? But this got to be correct. Okay. Chow. Come let me smack you. It ain't even in the oven. Come here. Mmm. 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 Mm. Ain't it nice when you get it done? You get it right the first time? All right. Diggity dang. Mmm. Okay. So what's going to happen now? Let me see where these are at. Let me take a look here. These don't have a way to go, okay? So, now that I showed you what I'm doing today, and I told you a little few things that you didn't know about your old girl here, huh? Your girl was a mess, honey. And dancing, child, let me tell you. Me and my brother, we was hustling. I mean, we took the H-U-S-T-L-E out of the hustle, okay? I always love to dance. If I hear music now, whether I'm hurting or not, my mom is like that, my sister. Art always say, boy, as soon as y'all hear music, y'all get to dancing, huh? Even when I'm hurt and I just got to do a little something-something. But, yeah, we used to dance an awful lot. We used to go down to the discos at that time. When um, the tramps was out, my brother was named, he, rest in peace, he passed away, Shampoo, a.k.a. Byron, where he was named the dance master of New Jersey. That's how good he was. He had trophies, and we go, and we hustle, and... It was just a good time back then. It ain't like that today. You can't go to a club half the time and, you know, without hearing gunshots and stuff. It's so different. So you got to be careful with your kids and everybody packing a gun. You know, before you used to fist the cup now, right? Then, now, psh, huh? Terrible. But anyway, I used to have me a good time back when it was easy to enjoy yourself, you know? But so much stuff is going on nowadays, boy. I tell you. But anyway, so, now that I told you something about me, I may give you a little something every time I come on here. I can blow your mind. Because it's all good in the hood now. It's like, look, it's real good. The girl is good. I have some health stuff, but the girl is good because she got a good guy. Yes, sir. Y'all know about that? God is good. God's good to me. So I can tell y'all some stuff because I overcame an awful lot, let me tell you. 
and some things I'm still dealing with. But you know what? Got to kick butt, that's all. You can't be all boo-hoo, boo-hoo. I got a good family. I got a, I got so much love, y'all. Honestly, God, on a real note, this girl is truly loved and truly blessed, too. So I give stuff back. So when I do this, I don't do it to get paid. I do it because it's here. It's something I love to do. And I got the, as you know, I like that. And you know what? I even gossip a little bit. Mm -hmm. Did I tell you last week in church, Sister Matthews and Brother Matthews, did I tell you what I saw? I saw him hug her and say, job well done. Gotcha. I'll see y'all later when it's done. I'll let y'all see it, okay? Gotcha, though, know, didn't I? <laughs> Thanks for watching. I will be back with the finished product, okay? All right, bye.